Hello everyone, welcome to the Sir Chancelot Show, the internet program with three distinct parts all linked together by your host, the completely normal Sir Chancelot. Our first segment for today is outdoor channel discussion. Let us see what that has to what what that is uh what is that that is going to tell us today. guys like my Cal Chuchesta cosplay. Hello everyone, welcome to a very special episode of Outdoor Channel Discussion as uh, the great outdoors are somewhat limited as of right now, but you know, we have a little thing called movie magic, so we're still gonna try to make it work for you guys. Streaming! Streaming is a thing that I do occasionally, sometimes, often even. Going forward in terms of streaming, I wanted to know what you guys think I should play because there are several games that I have and could stream, but I don't even know if you guys would even want to watch that. So uh, I'm going to do a list of all the games that I have and could stream. Feel free to leave a comment below for what you would want to see me play, or even if something that's not on that list that I could look into. Uh, if you're annoyed by the spam of streams, I apologize, but that's just the way it's going to be. As for the regular content, I tried out movie reviews. I've done two reviews, and they both went swimmingly. Not necessarily in the view department, although the viewer retention, which is how long a viewer on average watches your video, that was way up, which I'm very happy to say. And I think that the format, especially in the second review, the format has gotten closer to something more original, which I'm proud of. And that is something that I was hesitant to begin doing, because I feel like that can be a very... Uh, well, easy to make, but difficult to make entertaining or original, and I'm pleasantly surprised that I enjoy preparing them, I enjoyed making them, I enjoyed editing them, and you guys seem to enjoy them as well, so I'm very glad that those went over well, and that is definitely going to be a more prominent focal point on the Sir Chancelot channel. But of course, I'm not going to completely deviate from the classic Sir Chancelot content, the funny, funny videos, as I guess you would call them. Do not worry, those will continue, just maybe not as frequently, or maybe not as prominently. Uh, I definitely want to continue doing uh, the full comedy skit things, uh, comedy.mp4, uh, Photoshop videos, uh, just original stuff like the cooking video. I mean, feel free to leave suggestions uh, for what I should review in the comments below. And I don't even mean just movies, I mean like just film-oriented topics, uh, games, music, uh, Pokemon unboxing videos, uh, you know, anything of that sort. Just let me know what you want to see from this channel, and I'll see what I will or will not make. You can't control me. You can't stop me. I still really like this Sir Chancelot show uh, format uh, with these little segments. Uh, this one, I think, I've decided will be in every single episode just a flat uh, update video inside of a bigger video so that more people will click on it and watch it. Um, I'm thinking that 
It's been almost three months since the release of the first episode of the Sir Chancellor Show, and I think that's uh, a pretty good time frame. Uh, one episode every three months just to give a sort of mashup. Uh, that way enough time will have passed so that I will have stuff to talk about. Uh, you know, you want these to be topical and relevant. You don't want to just pump one out every single week. You know, that would be, that would be dumb. And so, yeah, uh, focusing on film and movie reviews. And if you disagree or are disappointed by that, then, uh, too bad. Hey, Peter, how do you turn this thing off? Wow, that, that sure, wow, that certainly is something. Be sure you also click the links in the description to the multiple social media pages of Sir Chancellor, including the newly founded subreddit r slash Sir Chancellor. The subreddit will include many wacky and funny shenanigans, and I recommend that you all join it. Speaking of wacky and funny, here's what an unscripted video looks like. Hello, all you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second episode of the internet program, The Sir Chancellor Show, with this brand new segment, reoccurring segment, perhaps, called Tim. That mildly... I already messed it up. I already messed it up. Tim! That irritates me mildly. There's two M's at the end. That's that's the important. That's the catch. It's gonna be a much more intense section, a very uh, powerful, angered section where I angrily discuss my issues with society and all of the all of the injustices of the world. For this segment, we're gonna be taking issue with something that has come to my attention over the last couple of months, which is incomplete box set. Now, I know this doesn't really sound like a very big deal or even like a thing that exists, but it does exist, and it's a big deal. Twin Peaks from Z to A. Let's get this out. Fantastic box set. What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Today, we're going to take a look at the Infinity Saga box set, which contains all 23 movies from the Marvel Cinematic Universe for their first big phase. For those of you who are a bit confused about what I'm talking about, let me play this clip. A $550 box set of every single Marvel movie, all in one mahogany box. So here we have the box set. It comes in this packaging. It was from Best Buy. It cost uh, $550, which a lot of people felt was expensive. But think about it. You're getting 23 movies, 4K movies that come with Blu-ray versions and digital copies. So you get a lot in this little box set here. $550. Now you may be thinking, oh, well why is this the big deal? I caught it. I caught the Stalinade. Now I know you may be thinking, this isn't a big deal, it's just a box set with a bunch of movies. Why is that a bad thing? I already told you, I don't want to join your super secret boy band. <laughs> Gotta love Iron Man. Okay, so let's let's just say you are the person that would spend five hundred fifty dollars on a Marvel MCU complete box set, the Infinity Saga complete set. Let's say that's you, and you buy this. Okay, the odds are if you're that person, then you're also going to buy a copy of Black Widow or the Eternals or the Doctor Strange Two or Howard the Duck twenty twenty five. And so the, the fact that this box set does not contain every single film in this contained universe, it completely renders the idea of a complete box set as irrelevant because you have this nice fancy mahogany box. And then right next to it you just have like a stolen copy of Black Widow from a red box. Or here's another one, a Tarantino XX 8-film collection for $250.
Wow, $250 for an incomplete filmography of just a guy. This one especially, there's just this flawed mentality that these companies have when they make these complete collections or box sets or complete filmography. Just that people are more likely to buy something if it's just all together. Like, I guarantee most people would not spend $30 on a copy of Death Proof. I don't know. Are, are people are people buying thirty dollar copies of Django Unchained? I mean, is that a thing? I mean, I guess by that logic, then that's what they're buying, right? Because that's a steal. It's all of them together in one box, so it's a collectible. This thoroughly upsets me. This is the one that really got my attention on this whole incomplete box set thing. The Walking Dead Compendium 15th Anniversary Box Set. The most complete collection of The Walking Dead ever assembled. You know, The Walking Dead comic actually ended fairly recently, and every single issue of that comic has been published. And wouldn't you know it, this only contains the first three out of four compendiums. So I'm imagining the type of person that buys a complete box set for $120, their odds are they're also going to buy the fourth and final volume. Which, by the way, is not included in any complete box set. This is just the most complete. And so it's just this flawed logic of having this complete box and then just another book sort of just shoved into the shelf. I'm gonna get impaled by the Stalinade. I do want to clarify that I'm not talking about the bargain two-in-one or the four-in-one or the even just collection movies. Those are actually bargains and they are good deals to get multiple movies for the price of only a few movies. That is a good deal. What's not a good deal is spending $30 on a copy of Death Proof. <laughs> All of this being said, there is such a thing as a good box set. I mean, for a series that you know beyond the shadow of a doubt is finished, like Breaking Bad, Harry Potter, Adventure Time, stuff like that, stuff that you know has concluded. I mean, that's a good box set, right? But you also have to remember that in 2020, there's an assumed risk when you buy one of these seemingly complete box sets. For example, the Halloween Complete Collection, $250 Deluxe Edition Blu-ray Complete Collection, including 10 Halloween films all in one complete box, right? And you know, diehard fans of the franchise are so happy because they finally have every single movie all in one box, right? How about a Matrix Trilogy collection for $180? You know, that's a franchise that's been completed for almost two decades. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. We're fine. If this shatters, I will be... Very angry, but that would be really funny. I realize there are much more important things to be talking about, and I realize that this is by no means an important topic, but I just want to put this out there. You know, I don't expect the big corporations to watch this video and realize the error in their ways, but uh, I, this, is more, this is more of a PSA for you, the viewer. You know, maybe, maybe you watch this video and next time you're thinking about buying a John Wick box set, maybe I might have just saved you, like, a couple of dollars. You know, it's, it's sort of like, sort of like a PSA, you know, I'm, 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 I just, I care about you guys, you know, you guys, you, you guys are like, you guys are like family. I think I'm gonna end it with this. Star Wars The Complete Saga Episodes 1 through 8 DVD set for $42.99. Episodes 1 through 8. They made a box set for Star Wars. Episodes 1 through 8. You know, the, the more I look at this image, the more I'm in awe that this is a real thing. Season 1 through 8 collection with Captain Plasma on the cover. And if you look up in the top left corner, <laughs> you see 20th Century Fox which has nothing to do with Star Wars now. They're owned by Disney, so... I happen to have my serious doubts for the validity of this box set. 
as on the back you can see an image of Star Wars Battlefront 2, the animated Clone Wars series, and a still from Episode 8. So, and if you look down at the reviews, it has a 4.2 out of 5 stars. So if you thought this topic was not important enough, or that people were smarter than they were, then now you know. Star Wars Seasons 1 through 8, out now on DVD. That's going to be it for me. Uh, I'm out. Yo! Wow, how funny and strange. Now, let's get to our final segment. That really oils my gears. Hello everyone, welcome to an audio-only edition of That Really Oils My Gears, or TROMG. Now, I'm no time-traveling expert, but I happen to have some knowledge that this video is going to be kind of already pretty long, so I'm gonna just keep this very brief and just get right to the point. There's this channel called Garfield Dancing to Happy Daily, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. There's literally nothing else to say. It's exactly what it sounds like, and it it's it's just it's the I think it's my new favorite channel of all time. As of when I'm recording this, they're on day 184. So, you know, if if you're looking back at this and there are still they're still going, then just so you know, I mean, I'm I'm telling you, invest now. Garfield dancing to happy daily. They're only at 136 subs. They need to they need to beat uh, T series. This is this is the new race to 100 mil. Like if I could if I had like a time stone or something, and I could like go back and like kill a baby PewDiePie and, like, replace this channel with, like, the infant PewDiePie, uh, and then have, like, redo the whole sub war again, this would, this would be the channel that I would, that I would do that, yeah, so, uh, um, I, I don't remember what this video was about. Incredible. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of the Sir Chancelot Show. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and as always, please subscribe to SirChancelot.com.